Hey everybody, it's Kyle with the Board Drill Podcast. I'm going to hop on real quick. We just released our most recent article on the Ohio Bobcats defense in 2023 with their stunts and simulated pressures. Uh, look for next Thursday for part two of that to come out, our five and six man pressures from Ohio. But tonight, I just wanted to hop on real quick and chat through how Ohio has built a particular pressure pass throughout their four man uh, simulated pressures, their five man fire zone pressures, and their six man hot pressures. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here, and we're going to walk through just one example of this. And this is going to be kind of their interior double-A gap, kind of X-dog, if you will, um, blitz pass. So the first one we're going to start with is their simulated pressure. Um, so as you see it right here, um, we're going to have the two interior backers come in, and they're just going to spin a cover three behind it and drop both the ends. So here's the path. All right. Typically, they would want to cross across the center's face when executing this, um, but the mic or will, whichever you want to call it right here, um, definitely doesn't get the center's face to him. So he's going to go ahead and just shoot the open gap, smart by him, get pressure on the quarterback, forces the quarterback to flip it over into the flat, and the defense is allowed to easily rally for a tackle to send it to fourth down. Um, so a great example of a simulated pressure, um, middle pressure very fast. The two D tackles are going to kind of cop rush. And the DNs are going to drop off into their cover three uh, zones. Uh, but really creative, it's going to get pressure up the middle very fast on the quarterback and force a, a quick throw there on third and seven. Our next one is going to be a five-man version of the same path. So now we're going to see them drop a three under three deep fire zone. So this right here, he will be kind of the hook player out here, uh, the curl hook player. And actually, he's going to end up working with the, the swing. Uh, this is going to be your middle player. All right, this is your other um, curl hook player, if you will. Uh, post safety, corner, and then there's a corner at the top that you can't really see. Uh, so here the ball snapped. We're going to get that same kind of X-dog pressure right up the gap. Going to force tremendous pressure, and we're going to see a throw, and it's going to be intercepted by the middle three player there. Um, give it a look from the back shot here. And we're going to see the path right here. Again, they're going to pick on the center. This is a great pressure to pick on the center with if you want to pick on the center. And the middle hook player does such a great job here. He's trailing uh, the drag, but realizes there's a dig behind him and somehow is able to have eyes in the back of his head and get on this pass play. I, I, I don't know. You know, I've watched it a hundred times how he's able to sit there. Clearly, he's reading the quarterback, uh, but does a great job there of getting the interception and working it all the way. He's got a score here. He doesn't, though. Uh, so got, got to do a little better there. Um, the next example, the next three examples we're going to show are the six-man variation of it. And again, this is going to be a six-man hot pressure. If you don't know what hot pressure is, a lot of people are out there writing on it. Um, just take a look at those. Cody Alexander does a great job writing on these. But they're going to bring, obviously, all four guys in the line of scrimmage, right? And they're going to bring the path of these two linebackers. They're going to X them right here. And then your hot players are going to be right here and right here. Now, I'm not sure on this one. A lot of times, Ohio will actually run one of these guys to the post and bring the safety down to be the other hot player. Um, so that's that's another thing they do well. But we're going to look at these hot players. This is a great pressure on early downs. On here, it's first and 10. It's a great run pressure. And we're going to see right there a nice path. All right. And even though, you know, there's a possibility, I'm not sure that the D tackle took the right path here. He ends up A gap or sorry, ends up B-gap there. Or it looks like the backer kind of overshoots it a little bit, but because there's penetration, they're bringing six, they have enough players here for the quarterback, and the backer's going to come around and get the running back here as well. So uh, just, again, a great rundown pressure. Uh, see it again right here. Um, this is going to be what I was talking about, where they run certain guys to the post. So, again, there's your X play or your X uh, pressure. He's actually going to come down and be one of the hot players. Here's your other hot player. He's going to run to the post, and then here's what it kind of looks like right there. So see it executed right up the middle, middle pressure there. Again, uh, the sack actually comes by the D-tackle, but it's very clear here that the backers running their path. Um, they get a one-on-one -on -one with the running back, which is all you can ever ask for, and it probably would have been a sack either way. Again, I love the action on the back end here of showing one high safety and letting him drop to the hot and then bringing the nickel or, the, I'm sorry, the other safety who's aligned over three uh, into the post. So it's kind of a nice variation there uh, just to maybe make that quarterback hold the ball an extra second. You know, I can't say for sure that's what happens here. Obviously, Ohio gets there pretty quick. 
Uh, but you know when you're bringing six, if you can make that quarterback hold on to the ball just an extra second, it's a big deal. Again, here's another one on second four. They're going to use it as a rundown pressure, another creative one. Uh, I believe he's going to be the post player. He's working down to a hot player. Um, there's your third and your third. I believe this is the other hot player right here, if I remember it correctly. I'm oh, sorry. There it is. I'm sorry. I drew it right the second time around, so forgive me. Here's what it's going to look like right here. So your hot player here, your hot player in the safety. This guy is going to run back to the post. Um, and you're going to see as he works back to the post, because it's a run read, he's actually going to freeze. And really, Ohio's not looking to get super depth here. They know they're bringing six. And the wide receivers don't even look like they're attacking here. We get everything says split zone here. It's a run. So they're all going to fit. The safety's going to redirect. And again, a nice tackle for a loss. If you see the path again, these linebackers do a very good job here. He just slides through that gap right there, gets skinny and makes a tackle. Uh, number 38, who does a tremendous job on this cut-up of running this pressure. Um, so perfect. So look, that's our uh, quick cut-up. I, you know, I think Ohio does such a great job. Again, this is one path that they've run in three different types of pressures. So really, it's a it's a big ROI for very little teaching. Yes, you have to teach guys, you know, you're dropping in certain things, but really every time there they spun one high, they did it out of their simulated pressure. They spun one high and played cover three. They did it out of their five-man fire zone pressure. They did three deep, three under, one high cover three, basically. Uh, you know, there's variation to it. And then with their six-man, it's still kind of a version of cover three with two hot players underneath. It's not quite that. I understand if you teach hot coverage, it's, it's a lot more intricate than I'm making it out to be. But it's a great way to take one path by your, two, your two interior backers and give it three different looks very quickly. And probably the learning curve on that is uh, is very small. So just a great example here by uh, Ohio of doing that and building out a pressure or a series of pressures off one pressure path. I'm Kyle for the Board Drill Podcast. I'll see you next time.